My name is Charmaine. I'm a flight stewardess with Singapore Airlines for almost three years now. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Flight ISU 204. For this flight that departs at 9.40 a.m., we have to attend a mandatory pre-flight briefing at 7.40. So I have to be at the airport about 40 to 45 minutes before, which means I need to be at the airport at 7 a.m. I would have to wake up two hours before at 5 a.m. So I will have to do my makeup, hair, have some light breakfast before travelling to the airport. My mom tries to wake up as early as I am to prepare breakfast for me, but I wouldn't expect her to do it all the time because it's texting for her. Passengers usually start boarding about 40 minutes before the departure, which leaves us about 30 minutes for us to get ready. Duties vary with the work position that we are assigned to. I could be working in the galley, ensuring that the meals catered are correct, or I could be working in the cabin, ensuring that the amenities catered for us are sufficient for passengers. For this flight, I'm assigned the work position to be mostly in the cabin. Um, I would have to ensure that the newspapers are displayed as well as ensuring that the menu cards and the headphones for business class passengers are at their seats already for their convenience. In a week, I could do about uh, two to three flights. In a month, maybe seven to eight, depending on the flight operating pattern. However, if it's a flight to the US, it usually varies from five days if it's a direct to San Francisco pattern or if we are flying uh, via Hong Kong, it would be about seven days. People don't actually realise that being a cabin crew is hard work. We are usually battling with jet lag, waking up at odd hours to get ready for a really early morning flight or staying up on a red-eye flight to ensure the comfort of our passengers. I think with this job, I have learned to also cherish the time I have at home and family, especially during special occasions like Chinese New Year or Christmas. I think my mum is uh, more outgoing and um, daring than I am, but somehow or rather she fears for my safety sometimes. It's not easy seeing your child flying and coming home like seven days later, but I think she has somehow accepted that I really love the job and it's something that I'm passionate about. And it's amazing how I get to have dim sum breakfast in Hong Kong and a couple of hours later, I find myself in San Francisco having dinner at Cheesecake Factory. Being able to enjoy food from all around the world is amazing. 